All right, hey YouTube, this is Robbie Bang for your Buck RC Reviews again. Thank you for watching this re run review of the Gizmovine GV109. We're going to take it for a spin over here on the Quarry Road in Waterville, Maine, and uh, do a couple of the walking paths that they have over here. And uh, But first, we're going to start off with a top speed, see what this thing can do remember this is a 1 18th scale 370 to 380 size motor brushed motor and uh, so it claims that it can do uh, 40 kilometers per hour uh, we're gonna see if uh, this can even get close to that uh, not betting on it but uh, let's see what it can do anyway Okay, we get the uh, Milan uh, GPS satellites dialed in. We get the uh, speedometer uh, calibrated to zero. And so let's see what this thing can do. Oh yeah, and check out the uh, LEDs right there. They look pretty good. I bet at nighttime they're really bright. Okay, I think we got it all dialed in as far as the uh, steering trim and the dual rates and the throttle dual rates. Let's see uh, what this thing can do. I don't think it needs a lot of space to get the top speed. Fun little vehicle though. There we go guys, we got a top speed of 14.9. So right around 15 miles an hour for this. Much like uh, the other Ho Speed or HS uh, 118th scale brushed vehicles. Right on par with them. I uh, did not expect much different. It's okay with me. It doesn't have to be the fastest thing in the world to be fun. All right, let's go try it on the trails. Okay, we're on the uh, Quarry Road race trails. I'm gonna try uh, this little uh, GV109 on the trails, see how it does. Guys, it went into the water. I don't know if you can see that uh, water there. Went totally in, submerged completely. Don't know if this is gonna work anymore. If it does, oh my God. It was totally submerged, guys. This doesn't work. Uh. I can't believe this is working. Totally submerged underwater. And it's only splash proof.
Man, it's got some power. It's right over the tall grass. It just blows my mind. You guys can see that hill it's really steep probably the camera does not do it any justice uh, let's see if we can make it up this hill dead stop in the middle of the hill absolutely good good No problem for this guy. Some of them guys are really, really sturdy to put together well. Post speed seems to do a good job. Got another big hill. Let's see how she does. I would imagine we're probably halfway through the battery. This is a good size hill, guys. Especially for a little truck like that. Right. And this is not even not even really challenging it.
guys, I just want to let you know that I don't normally drive this squirrely, but it's kind of hard holding the uh, selfie stick in my hand and the controller. I don't have big hands, but I do have sausage fingers. And it's not even easy for me to drive. The two things in my hand at once. Save some uh, some battery for the jumps. All right, guys. Hey, uh, we're going back to the rocking trip. Uh, gonna go back to the truck, set up the jump. We'll save a little bit of battery power for that. See how she jumps, and uh, then we'll call it a video. But uh, I am really impressed. This thing was totally, totally upside down, submersed in that pool of water. I don't know if I <laughs> if I got it on video, but uh, I did not think it was going to come out of that, and it did. It didn't even like shake a steering servo or anything. It was awesome. So far, so far, I'm totally impressed with this. Um, for a sub fifty dollar range, uh, you really can't go wrong. All right, we got the jump set up. Let's see uh, how it does on the ramp. I think it's going to be hard to line up with it being so squirrely, but uh, I'll do my best. She's pretty bouncy with those, uh, pretty bouncy with those friction shocks. <laughs> I think if I could hit the jump, it would be a good jump for
Dump's nice. Yeah, so this concludes our video for the uh, GV109 by Gizmo Vine. No, Gizmo Vine. Very good truck right here. I, I mean, yes, it's very squirrely. It's kind of hard to control, kind of like the Remo Hobby, kind of like the other HS trucks uh, that I had. Uh, and I've given them off to other kids and stuff like that uh, in the neighborhood. But uh, this right here functions the same exact way as the uh, other HS. 18 scale trucks that are brushed I like it, it <laughs> when this when this this when I was reading this and it said it was splash resistant or water resistant I didn't expect it to be able to be completely submersed I don't I don't remember if I got this on video as far as it being underwater but <laughs> it was completely submersed so that that impressed me alone and I, and I took me a couple of seconds to uh, reach in there and get it because I didn't want to fall in so uh, Totally impressed. Not even a glitch from the water. Uh, I, I'm kind of speechless about that. So, is this worth 50 bucks, guys? Uh, sub $50 range? I would say it is. And uh, I'm sure you can upgrade it uh, if you wanted to. You do have those uh, uh, covers and all that stuff uh, that you have to deal with upon uh, swapping uh, things out for uh, brushless stuff and uh, you know receivers and all that good stuff but uh, you know if you buy this brushed I would just keep it brushed you know I mean not everything has to go brushless this is a good cheap vehicle you can have a lot of fun with but for now guys I'm gonna sign off this is Robbie bang for your buck RC reviews thank you for watching thank you for supporting my channel and I'll talk to you guys next time take care <laughs>